Hey guys, I'm Eric Creel, and this is Amphibia Disney Television Animation, Walt Disney Animation Studios, and Ultra Lounge Fan 2002. And tomorrow is to celebrate our New Year's Eve, and I'm so sad that this year has come to a close. But don't worry, this year is great, because... All the wonderful moments of 2021 had such a wonderful time, including the amazing theatrical release movies or streaming movies on the streaming services. So, I like to take every single time what is 5 times 2. And you know what the answer? Let's talk about, for my, the top 10 best movies of 2021. These movies that I like to the range of I adore it with a passion and these are the kind of movies that I liked in every single one of them. Before we get into the number 10 spot, I like to take some honorable mentions. For my honorable mentions include Spirit Untamed, Flora and Ulysses, Disney's Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Wish Dragon, Ron's Gone Wrong, Vivo, Tom and Jerry, The Mitchells vs. The Machines, The Addams Family 2, Peter Rabbit 2 The Runaway, and finally, the Disney star of The Rock who star as Maui from Moana, and including Mary Poppins from Mary Poppins Returns, Jungle Cruise! And now it's time for the number 10. Starting from my number 10 is Cruella. This is honestly the best Disney live action movie I've ever seen in my life. That we remember saw Cruella in Dolby Cinema way back when. On May 2021 and it was an amazing experience. The story looks really awesome. The characters are amazing. The soundtracks look awesome for a 1970s music, which is rock and roll or disco. The music scores look incredible. And let's not forget about Baroness, who performed by no other than Emma Thompson. She is an amazing villain. And that's why I put Cruella for my number 10 spot. And Emma Stone, if you're watching this, I'm so proud of you. Well, pretend as Cruella DeVille. Ah, yes. You're amazing. You're such a genius lady. Coming in at number nine is Paw Patrol the Movie, a.k.a. Mighty Pups Fanboy's favorite movie of all time. And this is honestly the best movie for dogs, and as well as one of the best Nick Jr. movie I've ever watched in my life. Next to the Blue's Clues, Big blue musical film, I believe. Yeah, I think about it. So, the animation is wonderful. The best looking animation I've seen in a Nick Jr. movie. The characters are awesome. The music scores look incredible. The story looks really amazing. And the original soundtrack looks amazing. It has so much jaw droppings more than ever. Amazing heartfelt moment to save the Adventure City. Ah, yes. Way to go. Every people in the world, including the celebrity guests like Tyler Perry and Jimmy Kimmel. Ooh, boy, speaking of Jimmy Kimmel, for talk about for my number eight spot, let's go in for my number eight. Number eight, the boss is back, baby. And you know what it is, the boss baby family business. Ah, yes. This movie was even better than the first one. The animation is awesome that we remember saw this in Dolby Cinema for its last July 3rd, 2021. And I watched this on my Blu-ray for my PlayStation 4 Pro way back when on September 14th, 2021. It was amazing. The story looks awesome. The characters are amazing. And ah yes, Tim is all grew up, he's awesome, which is performed by the same persons who played Prince Edward from Enchanted. 
including Ted Templeton. He's awesome in this one. And all kinds of characters are amazing. And yes, including Tim's parents when they all grew up. They look like the seniors. They're amazing. Including Tim's dad, which is performed by Jimmy Kimmel. I know that actor. Absolute legend for my number 8 spot. Way to go, everybody! And including Dr. Erwin Armstrong. He's awesome, which is performed by Jeff Goldblum. Ah, yes. Even more awesome than Francis Francis from the previous one. So, well deserve the Boss Baby Family Business for my number 8 spot. Number 7, The Loud House Movie. This is honestly the best Nickelodeon movie I've ever watched on Netflix. And what a coincidence, I watched The Loud House movie on Netflix for its last August 20th, 2021, which is right before Paw Patrol the movie on Paramount Plus that I watched this kind of family movies for my streaming services. It was amazing. The story is really awesome, which is based on a Nickelodeon show. The animation looks amazing. It looks really awesome. The characters are awesome, which is based on the Loud House projects, including Morog. Morog looks underrated and intense and amazing villain, in my opinion. And the music scores look incredible. And the songs are amazing for a musical number. So, that's why I put the Loud House movie for my number 7 spot. I am Brony number 2 for my number 6 choice, My Little Pony, A New Generation. And this is when the modern My Little Pony is even better than a classic My Little Pony. So, and this is honestly the best Netflix movie I've ever watched since the Loud House movie. That I remember watched this on Netflix way back when, for its last, November 10th, 2021. And it was amazing. The story looks really amazing, which is based on Friendship is Magic. The animation is awesome, the best looking from the Netflix original movie. The characters are amazing, the music scores look awesome, and the songs are spectacular! And that's why I put My Little Pony A New Generation for my number 6. And we are halfway through for my number 5. Let's bring it on to the final mission for my number 5 choice, No Time To Die. This is honestly the best Bond movie I've ever watched in my life. And this is honestly the greatest conclusion to the Daniel Craig James Bond film. And I just watched this online for free way back when on November 2nd, 2021. And it was jaw-dropping amazing. The spy action scenes are really epic. The characters are amazing. Staffin is awesome! And the story looks really amazing. And the music scores look really awesome for my favorites, Hans Zimmer and Steve Macero. And a theme from No Time to Die performed by Billie Eilish. Ah yes, such an amazing song. And that's why I put number 5, No Time to Die, Mission Accomplished. Game on for my number four choice, Space Jam A New Legacy. One of the best Warner Brothers movie I've watched and I ever saw in D-Box Motion Code at Cinemark Feeders way back when on July 17th, 2021. And this is honestly the best day for Warner Brothers. Because the story looks really amazing based on the original Space Jam by Michael Jordan. The animation is amazing for a 2D animated form or the computer 3D animated form. And the characters are awesome. LeBron James is my favorite character of this film. And the rest of the family look really amazing. Algie Rhythm is amazing villain I've ever seen since Richard Dasserly from Scoob, Rex Dangerfest from The Lego Movie 2, Joker from the Lego Batman movie, and finally, Lord Business from the Lego movie. And the music scores look awesome. The original soundtrack is amazing. Lola Bunny has more attractive than the first movie. 
in my opinion, with a new jersey and the new designs and a new look. She looked really incredible, which is performed by no other than Zendaya, which is the exact same cast who performed as Casey Undercover. And that's why I put Space Jam A New Legacy for my number four spot. And that's all, folks! Now we're getting to the top three. These are the next three movies that I watch this, every single one of them, and, but not only just that, for my free Disney movies that I like of this year is my favorite movies of all time. My number three choice is Luca. One of the best Pixar movie I just watch on Disney Plus for two times when it's first premiere and later I watch this again on Blu-ray for my PlayStation 4 Pro for its last Wednesday, September 8th. 2021 with the Italian language and English subtitles. The story looks really amazing. The animation is one of the best looking animation I've ever seen in a Pixar movie. The characters are amazing and the music scores look wonderful. And that's why I put Luca for my number three spot. At number two, Encanto. This is honestly the best musical movie I've ever seen in Cinemark XD way back when on Saturday, November 27th, 2021, which is for my earliest Christmas present. And it was amazing. The story looks awesome. The animation is incredible. The characters are amazing. Mirabel looks amazing female protagonist. And the rest of the Rodrigo family look amazing. And the El Casita looks amazing house for imagination. And including Bruno, performed by no other than John Leguizamo, which is the exact same cast, who played Sid from the Ice Age movies. And the music scores look amazing. And the songs are far from my favorites. And that's why I put Encanto for my number two spot. Now time for the number one. My number one. Best movie of 2021 has to be Halloween Kills. Nah, just kidding. My number one is actually Raya and the Last Dragon. And this is honestly my favorite movie of all time, and as well as my favorite Disney movie of all time. It has Awesome animation, the best looking animation I've ever seen in a Walt Disney Animation Studios form. The characters are amazing, and including Namari looks really awesome. Sometimes she becomes a villain, and sometimes she becomes a hero at the end, which is really nice bonding. Kind of like Sasha from Amphibia. The story looks really amazing, and the music scores are far from my favorites, including Lead the Way, which is at the end cred song. It looks really awesome for a pop music. The action scenes are so epic. Just as epic as Amphibia action scenes, the Owl House action scenes, and easily Star vs. the Forces of Evil action scenes. These are so epic at the best. Including Sisu is my favorite character of the entire film, which is performed by no other than Aquafina. And that's why I put Raya and the Last Dragon from my number one spot, which is my favorite movie of all time. And this concludes for my top 10 best movies of 2021. Tell me what is your favorite movies of 2021. So let me know down below in the comment section. And stay tuned for tomorrow is my Fox on December 2021. If you want to see more videos to my YouTube channel, click subscribe. Click the notification bell button if you want to see more. Thanks for watching and I know this video is pretty long, so goodbye!